describe the life of Francisco Valentin after you returned from the other side when you were 17 years old? Ah, the life of Francisco Valentin at age 17. I can say one word. Isolation. Yes, I, isolation because I felt isolated. I felt like no one understand what happened to me. Uh, no one believes it. If, if I'm asked and I start talking, somehow I feel the vibe that people are not caring. They're just asking questions just to ask, but uh, they are not in, uh, in, in conform with the, with the answers that I'm giving. And, uh, you know, I said, you know, forget it. I'm going to keep it to myself and take it to the grave. But little did I know, <laughs> look at me now, hear me now. Uh, I spend the rest of my life learning on my own, just learning on my own, grabbing every single book I could get a hand, my hands on. And, 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 and this is something that I must bring forward. The way that I learned uh, will teach a lot of people a lot just by this example. I remember my first book was about psychology. It was a psychology book, so I took it, I began to read, and I said, no, this is not it. This, 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 they, they had no idea of, of, of how the brain works, you see? Nevertheless, I could not pinpoint or put into words uh, what I knew. So I took another book and I, s I began to read and uh, this is kind of but not quite, you see. And I kept reading and then I get this other book and I said, uh, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So, so lesson learned. Don't believe everything that you read. Don't. Don't. You gotta be very careful, especially nowadays. See? And and still, you cannot believe everything that you hear from other people. Uh, and I don't wanna put anybody down, but but I've heard uh, near death experiences stories that I that I just go, my God. Uh how am I going to help these people understand that that's not it? And uh, do I have the absolute truth? No, I don't. No, I don't. But but there are simpler ways to to understand things. You see, is for example, like uh, like for instance, and I don't want to 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 sound uh, facetious or anything like that, but. It's for example, when, when, when the child asks you for the first time, uh, dad or mom, uh, where do I come from? And uh, the first thing they come up with, the birds and the bees, uh, there's going to be a point in time where you have to say, you know what, uh, let, let me help you out, help you out in, in, in a different way. I mean, that doesn't mean that you're going to go with a child and open up book and say okay this is this and this is that you don't go you don't take that route but but there are easier ways to help you understand without having to make you believe that that things are like the birds and the bees or the white stock deli delivering babies and 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 the way that i can help you understand things is through through a perception so it can be more in in, in 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 alignment with with the 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 new understanding that that we are more than we think that we are based on the way we have been taught that many people are questioning and saying wait this is not making sense at all you see when, when you see life as a balance and unbalance and you see all the all the uh, complexity of life, you have to use more reasoning to try to understand how things are in reality. 
but be careful because you cannot go into the the other the other opposite way and route and 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 go into like for example quantum physics trying to make a theory out of everything and that everything is possible not everything is possible my friend is for example like this physical body it has its limitations you see so so is the other realms that 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 are for example energy people say oh we are we are energy we're not energy we use energy we manifest through energy energy is a verb we are the subject you see the verb is the movement the energy is the movement the self is not energy the cell is you me I am you are we are you see but the moment that we said we are filling the blank that becomes creation that's become separate see so so you are the self you are not the verb the verb is the movement you see vibration energy creation so the physical world has everything to do with creation but the spiritual world has everything to do with the origin of life so what is the origin of life everything that is before the physical plane of reality you see energy so subtle that it doesn't even have an atom a particle a vibration you see up to the point where there's no vibration and then is the self you see but I can't explain all that and make that and make it a whole in just one one interview it, it's impossible I have to take you through 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 math then adding up from adding and subtracting to multiplying and dividing then use algebra so you can get there and understand the whole concept little by little i'm telling you for example there are algorithms but how to get there that's another story how to get to that understanding that's another ball game yes there is but how to get there that you have to understand layer by layer by layer by layer you see this is not something that you can uh, learn overnight uh, look at me it took me over 35 years and now that I get it now it's making sense and that's my work to help you understand what I did throughout 35 years going through the experiences that I've gone without you having to go through those experiences yourselves you see that's my work and i hope uh, you understand my point of view and this time please this time without theological ties without theological ties this time around